right? $1.3 million, three bedrooms uh, in the OCR. It's very, very good quantum right now. I see that moving upwards uh, uh, very, very quickly in the future towards 1.5. Um, four bedrooms, OCR about 1.6. Uh, price point is, is, is very, very good. I see that moving upwards to about the $1.8 million price point also in a short period of time because of the supply squeeze over uh, uh, in, the, in, the, in the OCR. Okay, uh, interesting, uh, good takeaway. Conclusions, okay, finally coming to an end. Uh, today, two hours, uh, we are starting to now average two hours every Facebook Live already. C uh, conclusions from the east side of Singapore, the profitable transactions on the east. Um, 99, over in the OCR, right, 99 bits freehold most of the time. Okay, and new launch also beats resale most of the time in terms of profitability and capital gains. Proximity to school is a bonus. Yes, we see it uh, uh, being quite pronounced in the District 16 example, but as when I did my research over in District 19, it is not as pronounced. So I can con I, just to conclude it, I think it's a bonus uh, uh, to be near a good school, uh, but maybe as you move closer and closer to the city, the, it will be more and more important but uh, it, the, this, this benefit is sort of negated if you go further out and into areas of higher number of HTPs, okay? Proximity to MRT is not critical. Uh, we have seen the case study for the Minton, the case study for Fontaine Perry and we have our favourite case study uh, over at High Park Residences. What is more important, right, is at the end the entry quantums, right? Uh, why that is important, the Watertown example that I illustrated to you guys, that is one of the key examples why we entered Watertown in the first place. Uh, it's essentially a, a two, a compact three bedroom at a million dollars at the start of 2021. Hello, sorry to interrupt. We'd like to take the opportunity to thank you for watching the video and also to share why we do what we do. It's to empower consumers with hard facts and figures, quality research and real-life examples to allow them to make the most informed property decisions. So if you found our videos useful, the only thing we ask for is for you to smash that like and subscribe button so that the YouTube algorithm can push out our videos to more consumers. Thank you and back to the video. Uh, the quantum was very, very acceptable, right? Uh, but for, to, for you to be able to know this, you, you, it's best to work with an agent for this because the agents have a much clearer idea on what uh, uh, is the kind of acceptable quantums uh, in the market. It's very hard to grasp that uh, by looking at data, uh, by reading, uh, uh, reading online and whatnot. Lah. But you know, in my videos, I have shared what are some of the good quantums uh, to look at, right? $1.3 million, three bedrooms uh, in the OCR. It's very, very good quantum right now. I see that moving upwards uh, uh, very, very quickly in the future towards 1.5. Um, four bedrooms, OCR about 1.6. Uh, price point is, is, is very, very good. I see that moving upwards to about the $1.8 million price point also in a short period of time because of the supply squeeze over uh, uh, in, the, in, the, in the OCR, right? Uh, it's the, in the, in, in the, this short period of time represents a pretty good opportunity for upgraders because we see a good supply of resale ECs moving on to the market, which is why I thought about this. Are resale ECs a good buy? The answer is yes. Um, another reason why I feel they are good buy is because as a buyer, you can enter into it um, where the supply and demand dynamics at least still work in your favour. Uh, it will not be so much in uh, uh, upgraders' favour uh, in the next two, three, four years uh, because the government is not releasing sufficient land into the OCR. Uh, so, it will be a seller's market for the next two, three, four years. Uh, set to risk parameters, right? Assuming everything is the, uh, uh, is the same. So, uh, the one place that you can catch that little supply demand imbalance really, I feel, is in the e uh, resale EC MOP uh, market. Of course, the last point the larger the unit, the better the profitability. This applies across the board. Lah. Uh, it's quite a, a, a obvious uh, point over here. But an uh, uh, interesting thing to note over in the OCR is two bedroom demands actually still not bad right because of course it's a quantum uh, game 
uh, over in the OCR, quantums, quantums, quantums uh, in the OCR. As a matter of fact, again, all across the market at this point in time.